some other stuff. <laughs> Darrell Jazz Johnson, Gospel Herald, CitySportsReport.com, here with former NBA player and current uh, Dallas Mavericks uh, on-air personality, Mr. Derek Harper. Derek, how are you doing today? Doing very well. How are you? Happy New Year. Happy New Year to, to you as well. Uh, quick question about the New Year. Did you make any New Year's resolutions for 2015? Draw closer to the Lord. That's always my re resolution. That's a, that's a great one to have. Yep. Uh, so the Celtics, uh, excuse me, uh, the Mavericks recently traded uh, uh, Rajon Rondo. Uh, how do you think he's fitting into the team thus far as a former point guard yourself? I think anytime you try and implement new players into the league, it's a challenge. I think it's more of a challenge when it's an offensive-minded guy. I think the fact that Rondo is a uh, facilitator first, I think he simply makes us better as a basketball team. Uh, you add that kind of quality to what was a pretty good roster anyway, and I think moving forward, we actually have a chance to uh, to be really, really good. Now, how quickly, you know, I, I believe you were traded to the Knicks midseason as well. What are some of the challenges that you faced back then that you think Rondo will, will be facing now? Well, personally, I, th I think trying to do too much. I, I think a lot of times you come in and you, you, you want to – you want to take off right away, and I think you have to learn tendencies of different players, a different team. It's a different system altogether. Fortunately for Rondo, he is a pass for his point guard. He's not a guy that's looking for his own shot. I think that helps the transition, but the, the, the other thing is just finding your comfort, understanding where you're going to be getting shots from uh, at, at, on a new basketball team, and I, I think he's astute enough to do so and will fit, again, extremely well with this, this Maverick unit. Everyone talks about Tim Duncan aging gracefully yep. and putting up good numbers, but but Dirk is doing the same thing. How do you think Dirk has been able to to maintain the great production he has as he's gotten older? Well, it's a combination of things. I, I think it's a mindset, number one. I think it's being in one system uh, his whole career. That actually helps the situation, of course. And he's a workaholic. The guy stays in the gym to this day. He's always trying to get better as a player. And I think as your career progresses, it's important for you to add different things to your game. He's been able to do that. And, you know, the Mavericks have done a good job, I think, this year in particular, of surrounding him with solid players, guys that can give him a breather here and there, and it's working out pretty well for him. How, how great was it to, to for the team to get back uh, Tyson Chandler, who they won a championship with uh, back in 2011? You know, I, I think that's the key is getting him back. Obviously, he's a police in the paint. Uh, Tyson is uh, – a born leader, in my opinion. The guy really understands what it takes to be successful. And, you know, New York didn't want him, so one man's <laughs> junk is another man's treasure, so to speak. He's been, been great for the Mavericks. So I'm going to put you on the spot here. Do you, do you see uh, the Dallas Mavericks in June Absolutely. as? Absolutely. And all of that, provided you don't, you don't have any serious injuries, I think Dallas has as good a chance as anybody to, to be there in June. Um, yeah, again, making the trade will take time, but I think moving forward, I think adding Rondo to the mix is really going to give Dallas even more of a chance. There's a lot of parity in the Western Conference, so nothing is guaranteed, but I really like the basketball team. You'll see tonight. All right. Thanks a lot for your time. All right. You're welcome.